Item number SCP-3467. Index Anomaly. Object class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3467 is contained in a standard aviary constructed near Site-64, isolated from the rest of the facility. All maintenance of this aviary is to be performed either via automation or else by designated containment liaison Peggy Marquez. No personnel are to interact with SCP-3467 with the exception of DCL Marquez, who has been granted DCL status and representative foundation employment for the purposes of continued containment. In the event that SCP-3467 breaches containment, it is to be recontained solely by DCL Marquez. Any armed personnel in the area are to evacuate SCP-3467's path and are not to attempt to engage or capture it. Description SCP-3467 is a bush mower, Anomalopteryx didiformis, approximately 1.4 meters tall. Note, a wingless, flightless bird that was endemic to New Zealand until its extinction by the 15th century AD. SCP-3467 exerts an anomalous influence on any sentient being attempting to capture, hunt, or kill it. This influence causes a range of symptoms, including dizziness, amnesia, ataxia, and vision impairment, which fade roughly two hours after the victim ceases pursuit of SCP-3467. When two or more individuals are targeting SCP-3467, SCP-3467's influence gains additional effects. Individuals will become paranoid, and their ability to coordinate or communicate effectively with each other will be impaired, directly proportional to the number of individuals affected at once. Addendum Acquisition Report SCP-3467 was first identified following multiple reports of a madness bird or madness dinosaur throughout Vancouver, Washington. Mobile Task Force Phi-2 Clever Girls was deployed and equipped with scramble visors and other countermimetic gear, as well as long-range tranquilizer rifles. MTF Phi-2 tracked SCP-3467 south across the Washington-Oregon border. Around the same time, MTF Beta-4 Castaways was sent to investigate. Both task forces were revealed to have encountered SCP-3467 directly and were exposed to its anomaly. All members were incapacitated from either friendly tranquilizer fire or self-injury, presumably due to loss of balance. Note, one Phi-2 operative appears to have blindfolded herself in an unsuccessful attempt to defend herself from SCP-3467's anomaly. Shortly thereafter, GOI-466 Wilson's Wildlife Solutions employee Peggy Marquez encountered SCP-3467 while on an unrelated assignment to measure the water quality of the Willamette River. SCP-3467 cautiously approached Marquez, who petted SCP-3467 and offered it a portion of her food. After contacting both GOI-466 and the Foundation, Marquez managed to lead SCP-3467 back to headquarters, at which point she was able to lure it into an aviary without incident. Following this, and the subsequent full recovery of all MTF operatives, SCP-3467 was declared contained per the Boring Agreement.